you know what I'm supposed to be doing today? I'm supposed to be tidying up this room, but uh, this is my little guitar room. And I came in here, I saw the guitar and I thought, oh, I'll just, I'll just have a little go as you do. And then, you know, a couple of hours later. Uh, so anyway, I thought while I was doing this, I just thought I'd mention something which, you know, a lot of people seem to have forgotten these days, which is dynamics. Now, um, it's nice to have a good amp and everything, nice guitar and everything, but most of your tone, I think, is from your, your fingers. And it's something that's, like I say, really overlooked. So, you know, if you, if you play something, now that's on the, on the, uh, bridge pickup here and I'm using a pick of course but don't be afraid you know to turn the volume down you get a completely different tone if it's a bit lower uh, and of course try your fingers And that way you, you can get really soft changing your pickups too. rolling off the tone knob you can get a kind of wah sound which can sound uh, quite good on on the um, on the strat too so muck about with the pickups you know and the most important thing is vary the dynamics on on your fingers it's so important that So that was with the fingers, with the pick. So uh, also, of course, the whammy bar. I always like using the whammy bar, especially with kind of chords. Sounds really great. Of course, you can be kind of more subtle with the whammy bar, can't you? You, you know. Or you can be more aggressive, kind of like a scooped thing. Same thing with vibrato actually too, isn't it? If you play. I like those kind of things. Uh, or a subtle vibrato. If a vibrato is cool too, isn't it? You know, but if you can mix the two, aggressive. <laughs> Where you're playing soft, you know. So all 
these things you can do. And I'm just plugged into the amp, not changing any pedals. I haven't got any pedals, just straight into the amp. And, um, you know, volume knob, um, these little swells, and vibrato and everything, whammy bar, your fingers with a pick, without a pick. So many things you can do, but try not and play on one level if you can. If you're only playing kind of one level, like this type of thing. You know, the ear gets very fatigued, you know, your listener. So if you can add some dynamics in there, it really help you playing, playing, you know, pay attention to that because you can get good kind of picking technique and so on, but uh, it's the emotion in the blues, which is the main thing. Have some fun. I'm gonna tidy this room up now. See you next time.